right, what's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. So I just slid in the States today to do a little shopping. It was raining this morning and then all of a sudden here I was standing in front of the new F-150 Lightning. So this is the Lariat from Coward Motors here. They definitely have a ton of different vehicles if you guys want to check them out just in port here on Michigan. Literally right over the border. The, the bridge is right there. So but uh, no, this thing caught my eye and I thought, you know what, I'm going to see if they'll let me take her for a rip. So um, this has about 150 miles on it. Uh, and yeah, I believe it's listed for around 119 US. So they're super rare and uh, I'm excited to take her for a rip. It also comes with general tires. Look at that. The old general grabbers. So I have general grabber ATs on mine. They're a little more aggressive, but uh, these are more of a road tire. So. Definitely nice tires. Check underneath, we got the independent suspension. Oh. All your battery and everything is under there. Obviously it's way different than my truck, that's for sure. So, let's go inside, see what's up. Outside, all looks pretty much the same, uh, other than the different rims for the, uh, you know, the, the electric part. Gotta save, uh, have as much efficiency as possible. We got the lightning badge, different tail lights. They really stick out a little bit. Let's see if we can pop the uh, pop the tailgate here. Oh yeah, nice. Same as my truck, electric tailgate. You got your workbench, spray and box. You got all your uh, electric ports there. If you want to run your house off it. I believe I heard three days you can run your house off it. Even got the auto tailgate. And then this is the part I'm really interested in. The frunk. So there's your tailgate and there's your frunk. <laughs> How's it work? Look at that. So I'm used to having an engine in here. There's a lot of room up here, that's for sure. Um, you could probably fit at least two golf bags, maybe two and a half, a small one. Then we got a light. We got, uh, if you try and hide someone in here, they can escape. We got more plugs, USB, USB-C. Um, looks like a battery in here. I'm not gonna pull that off. I don't need to get in there. I'm adding some more room for your chargers and whatnot different plugs, adapters, and there's a drain. So you can actually use this as a cooler, you know, if you're going camping or whatnot. So that is pretty sick. All right, let's, uh, let's take her for a rip. Everything's electric, all these things these days, electric and automatic. <laughs> Check her out inside. This has the black and gray interior, full sunroof like mine. So mine has the full reclining seats. They have a bit of a, more of a lip right here, but uh, this just has the normal ones. And the different screen. All right. <laughs> so weird, you want like the engine to turn on, but there's no engine. So this screen's definitely different here. Shows our, shows our range over here and uh, basically everything. Obviously, I'm not too familiar with this thing yet. This is my first time being inside. 129 miles. The screen is something else, that's for sure. Look at this thing. And I like how they have the uh, the knob on top there and you can see through the knob. So, but yeah, a rare port here on the Cat Hill Motors. If you guys want to check it out, here's the back seat. Pretty standard stuff. You got your work workbench here. This folds forward. Same as my truck. Right where was I? Uh, that is a lot going on. I'm just gonna go no right now. Are you sure? We don't wanna connect to it. Get out of here. Get out of here, remind me later. <laughs> I do love this screen. So I have the normal uh, landscape screen and this is the vertical one. So pretty cool, pretty thin. It's like a giant iPad. So you know, your standard audio, I guess all your controls are on the screen now. So before they were all on the dash and uh, yeah, now they're all on the screen. So got a locked in glove box, pretty standard. Hide all your junk in there. All right, should we take her around the block? Let's do it. This is the uh, perfect 
little phone holder I've jammed it between the screen and uh, and kind of between the front there. Ooh, I do love the camera on this thing. Oh, it's so weird. I've I've only driven my brother's electric car. I'm always so used to all the, the engine noise and the shaking and the this thing just feels like a golf cart. Perfect. So as soon as you let go of the gas, it does the regen, obviously, so you don't even need the brake. It's basically an auto brake. I'm sure you can adjust it to the intensity of it. Uh, I know with my brother's car, you can, that's for sure. So, so far, so good. Give her a little throttle. Oh, oh. Wow, that takes off like instantly. I'm just gonna shut the sunroof here. Whoop, that's the vent. Where is it here? There we go. A little hot on my noggin. Whew. This thing is definitely sweet. I like it already. So originally I was gonna order one, but then I decided not to just at the moment, just because I tow a lot. So I was just worried about towing with it. So, and you know, first year and stuff, but uh, definitely I think in the future I will be ordering one, so. Yeah, as soon as you let go off the brake, it does its regen and literally, or as soon as you let go off the gas, you don't even have to hit the brake, it slows down so fast. Whoop! Cut someone off. <laughs> Whoops. Let's floor it. Oh my God. That was insane. Yeah, we'll spin the tires on this thing. Okay, so that's just our little map port here on. Here's the bridge up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, so I thought that last one was a four-way stop. Apparently it's only a two-way stop. So as soon as I let go of the brake, basically it does the regen there. Fuels it back up. Jeez, this thing takes off fast. Oh my God. Zero to 60 and point nothing. <laughs> oh, a little squawker too. I definitely like it already though. I think uh, one might be in the books whenever they are available. I know they're pretty behind on building them, but uh, but I'm sure they'll catch up eventually. So <clears throat> Highly recommend it already. I like it. I like the screen too, that thing is sick. Make sure you guys leave some comments, tell me what you guys think of it. All I've seen is YouTube videos of this thing so far, so. Yeah, get out of here. I don't even know where I am. But yeah, I've just watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos, so I'm not actually, this is my first time driving and I definitely like it. This tour around port here on like I know the place. It's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Seats are super comfy. And uh, yeah. What's our mileage at? We got 183 miles. All right. Yeah, I don't really want to mess around with the controls too much because obviously it's not my vehicle. But uh, definitely just going to take her for a rip. So that's our battery temp motor temperature. There's the bridge up ahead. Look at that line up. I have a Nexus Pass, so I slid right across. Holy, yeah. Let me know what you guys think and if any of you guys have seen one or if you know anyone with one. So far, so good. I like this thing. But yeah, my only issue was I was just a little worried about the towing, but you know, most of the time I'm not towing anyway. I tow like maybe once every two weeks, so. That's a yield sign, my turn. Sweet. Maybe I'll pull over and get some pictures of this thing beside the bridge. Look at that. We got old 408 going as well. So everywhere. It's everywhere. Anyways, highly recommended uh, F-150 Lightning here. You know, I've only really gone around the block with it, but uh, definitely sick for sure. You know, a lot of the stuff on the inside is the exact same, except for, you know, your dash here. This is where I wedge my phone in. And then uh, your screen up here is a little different as well. But uh, yeah. I kind of like the frunk because I always jam on my crap in the back seat. My back seat's a mess. So 
Uh, the front is pretty cool. That's where I would, you know, put my tools and stuff. All right, let's do the carry-on. Try not to smash any curves on the way out and scratch it all up. Yeah, I can't believe how quiet it is. Like all I can really hear is the air conditioner and the air conditioned seats. But everything else is completely silent. I do like the regen thing. It's kind of nice not having to use the brakes. Obviously, you know, it is a little harder on your tires, but uh, it also saves you in fuel, so. Either way, <laughs> you're burning something, but uh, better than burning gas, so. Yeah, what do you guys think? Definitely highly recommended. I know it's a little different when you're just watching the video rather than riding in this thing, but uh, I've had about seven F-150s now, I believe. Seven or eight, six or seven or eight, I can't remember. I've had all of them. And this is definitely my favorite, 100%. Like, you barely hit the throttle and it takes off. Like, absolutely amazing. Obviously, that's gonna be a little harder on your battery, but it's the same as the gas vehicle when you floor it, you're burning, burning gas and hauling ass, right? So, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I'd go through the menu, but I really don't know a lot about it. I don't wanna be messing, uh, messing with everything, but yeah, everything's on the screen. Imagine taking this thing mudding. <laughs> oh man. So my foot's off the brake and gas right now and I'm just sitting here, so. Got a little auto thing. There's so much traffic in Port here on today. I figured, I figured everyone would be sleeping because they had July 4th yesterday. Look at all these fireworks and beer cans. Oh man. All right, let's head back to the dealership. Heading back to the dealer. Thank you, Catwood Ford for letting me drive this thing absolutely amazing this is the first one i've seen i know there's one or two in london but i i've seen people posting pictures but i haven't seen one in person so super pumped i finally got to drive one i've watched like 50 youtube videos on them of people testing them out i know there's lots of videos out there but i wanted to do my own right so hope you guys have enjoyed this video all right back to cowood motors cowood honda let's park this thing before i scratch it up yeah, I just want to show you guys one more thing. So this is the backup camera. So you have the overhead, which is amazing, and you have the backup at the same time. On my truck, you basically just have one or the other. Well, you do have both, but it's super small in the corner. But yeah, you can you can do your hitch. Uh, what else? Got the park assist there. We got all the angles, auto brake. Three, or 180 around the back. There's your box. Hitch again. And then back to 360. Whew, amazing. Well, I'm glad I got to take her for a rip. Parking brake on on Mac. All oh, these switches are, are the same, except you have your front switch there. I like this too. It's more of like a rubber feel. Beautiful. Anyways, thank you, Cowood Motors, for uh, letting me take this thing out, or Cowood Honda, sorry. Uh, absolutely amazing, definitely highly recommended. Here's your charging port right here. I believe there's a release switch somewhere, so I'm not gonna open that up, but uh, yeah, definitely check it out. If you get a chance to go for a ride one or pick one up, do it. Anyways, thank you guys again. Have a fantastic day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Buy yourself a Ford and swing by a Cowwood Honda. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.